Carlos Alcaraz versus Yannick Sinner is the first semi-final for the men's Indian Wells for 2024. And both players have had similar roads to get to the stage. Sinner entered the tournament as the number three seed, and we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Kokonakis. This is no problem getting through in straight. 6-3, six, 6-love. Six, Third round, he take on the number 25 seed, Struff, who had just battled through Chorich, saving match points in the previous round. This is no problem for Sinner getting through in straight sets. 6-3, six, 6-4. Six, in the fourth round, he take on Shelton, who had had two tough battles to get to this stage. And after a close first set, Sinner got through in straights. 7-6, Six, six, one, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on the Hechka, the 32nd seed, who had just beaten Sitsi Pass and Rublev along the way. But this was no problem for Sinner getting through in straights. 6-3, six, 6-3, three, six, three, to advance to the semifinals. Alcaraz entered the tournament as the number two seed, and we'll get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on the Italian Arnaldi, and after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 6-7, six, 6-love, six, 6-1. Six, in the third round, he'd take on the 31st seed, Ojal Yassim, a man that he'd lost to a few times previously. But this was no problem for Alcaraz getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on Marajan, the man that upset him in Rome on the clay courts of last year. But there was no repeat, with Alcaraz getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the number six seed Zverev, a man that he lost to five out of the eight times that they played, including earlier on in the year in Australia. However, this wasn't the case. After a long two-hour delay due to B invasion, Alcaraz would get through in straights. 6-3, 6-1, to advance to the semifinals. These two have played seven times before, with Sinner leading the head-to-head 4-3, including two matches last year, with their latest one being in Beijing in the semifinals, with Sinner getting a good win. So, Sinner's got to like his chances, especially the way that he's playing. If Sinner's going to win this one, and this is to keep doing what he's doing. He is undefeated for the season. The only player this year that has not lost a match, and he knows how to beat Elkris. He's beaten him more times than Elkris has beaten him. But last year at Indian Wells, Sinner did have an opportunity to get the first set against Elkris, so he's got to take those chances if he does get them. If Elkris is going to win this one, he needs to bring that variety, and he just loves playing on this court and use that confidence that he did against Vera. I mean, Vera had such a good record over Elkris, especially recently. Sinner's got the same, so if Elkris could use that confidence, he might be able to get through Sinner. What a great matchup. One of the best matches going around. Also, these guys are playing for the number two ranking as well. Just behind that Djokovic at number one. But I've got to go with Sinner in this one. He's been playing so, so well. It's so hard to go against him. It's almost like Djokovic in most of the other years. You just can't bet against him. I'm going to go with him in a close three sets. But let me know in the comments below who's going to make the final.